You can only get that from a Firebird like this, man. There is something about those mini humbuckers that just sound ridiculous. So anyway, I'm Brett at moreguitars.com, and this is the, really the first time in my life I've sat down and played a Firebird to like, to learn about it. You know what I mean? I've sat in a guitar shop. I've played buddies' guitars. I, you know, you see Alan Woody playing a bass, you know, the Firebird bass kind of thing. But I've never really sat down and, and you know, if any, if you've watched any of my past videos, which I haven't made a ton for a while, but Gibson SGs have always had a, saw, a, a spot in my heart. And the neck feel of this thing, the way it's kind of out here a little bit, feels a lot like an SG. Let's get to what this thing is first. Moreguitars.com, trying to get back in the swing of doing videos after the pandemic and all that stuff. So um, this is a Gibson USA Firebird, brand new guitar, neck through, killer, killer guitar. Um, weird shape, obviously, for most people, but man, this thing is iconic. Eric Clapton played a Firebird, and who played this better than Johnny Winters? So... Um, Let's, uh, let's get through this thing. So something cool about this guitar is it's got mahogany and walnut, nine piece. And, and Larry and I have been talking, um, we think that's where a lot of this thing gets a lot of its tone from. It's got a lot of snappiness, you know, and, and that comes from the mini humbuckers. You know, with a full size humbucker, you kind of get this full range of tone, all the way from the bass to the treble. This kind of cuts out for some people, this guitar is magic. This pickup is magic. It's an Alnico 5, so it's got plenty of output for a small for a small pickup. But I had one in the seven, or I had a '78 Les Paul with mini humbuckers, and that thing would whistle and squeal. You couldn't hardly turn the gain up like this one, but this one you can. They've done something where they've canceled some of that squeak and stuff, and and it's 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 pretty bitching. I think the, the, with the, the neck being what it is, you know, the mahogany and walnut, and then the, uh, the pickups being a little bit of a thinner sound, you know, gives it a little, little more spank on the high end where you can hear those brilliant notes. And, and Larry kind of alluded to it being kind of having that strat spank while having the Gibson body, you know, the Gibson body of the sound, I should say. So... <laughs> Man, it just cuts right through, and and that's the gain's not up terribly high. We're using a, a, a Mesa Fillmore 50, um, but this thing really puts out the juice, man. You see what I mean? It's really got the guts, you know, it's got the push. But to me, man, I'm really starting to fall in love with these pickups again because it kind of gets rid of a lot of that stuff, you know, that a lot of that stuff that I end up trying to EQ out of my amp or whatever. Um, let's go into some clean sounds. Anyway, sorry, let me get to some specs for all you people that that is that to that is important to, okay? So if you notice Two mini humbuckers, they're on eco fives, so they're, they're, they're supposed to simulate the good output of those pickups when this guitar first came out, which was a little bit more aggressive, I think. Um, and obviously two-piece adjustable stop tail, uh, four knobs, there's two tone, or sorry, two volume, two tone, and then obviously the pickup selector, which goes between, or you can pick both by picking the middle setting. Um, the tuner's killer. I, you know, I don't really like inverted headstocks and all that, but, you know, obviously it's a Firebird, it feels right. So, um, but a minute ago, I do have to admit, and I'm sure Larry was laughing and under his breath, but I was tuning this string and I was grabbing this for some reason, like an idiot. Corona's got me messed up, man. So anyway, so let's do some clean tones real quick. Uh, 
I, I want to explain what I'm feeling from it, you know what I mean? Because it's, it is pretty inspiring because it's, it's got that push, even though on the clean channel, it's got that, that brilliance and that spank, but it's so, it's so rich. Nice harmonics in there too, you know, that it's good and thick. I, I think they hit a home run with this dude. Um, again, Gibson Firebird USA, 1999. It's under two grand by a lot. One dollar. But uh, but that's a big deal. Call us, we'll hook you up though. We might help you out on the price or you know, we got free shipping and everything. But if you have any other questions, please make sure you contact us. Call us, call Rob, call Ed, call Corey, call me. Whoever you want to talk to, we're all here to help. Moreguitars.com. Make sure you sign up for notifications on the YouTube channel. If you don't, you might be called lame, but make sure you hit the notifications so you get them whenever we make new videos because they're all as good or better than this one, man. You got it? So anyway, bound neck, by the way. You just noticed that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, moreguitars.com. Go there. Sign up for our newsletter to get all our daily new products that come in every day. Aaron's a badass. He's getting them on there every day, so you make sure you're the first ones to get it. So sign up for our newsletter. You get all kinds of deals and stuff, and it is Christmas time coming up, so there will be deals to be had. See you later. Moreguitars.com. I'm going to rock on the way out here.